So we're, they want us to solve for for x, and we've got a couple natural logs. So let's or logs and exponentials. Let's remember what a, the ln ln means the natural log. What? ln yeah. means the natural log, and what that means is log base e. When it says log, that means log base 10. Like in your calculator, that means log base 10. But when it says ln, that's a very important um, logarithm base because it's very common in like exponential growth and decay models, which we're going to get to later. But uh, to do a problem like this, remember the property of logarithm. If you take the log base b, let's say, of b, what do you get? What's log base b of b mean? It means b to what power equals b? Zero. One. Not zero. Four. b to what power equals b? One. One. So what is the log base b of b equal to? It equals one. So what is this right here? This is the log base e of e to the x. Equal. Well, what's the log base e of e? Uh, you got to be careful with this. This x first, what should I do? What, ha what happens with this x right here? What's that one property that I do? I take that down to the front. Oh. And what's the log base e of e? It's 1. So here's another way to think about this problem. Let me say it another way. So isn't it just x? Mm -hmm. It's just x. This right here is saying the log base e of e to the x. So I could say it this way as well. E to what power equals e to the x? x. x, right. So your answer is x. couple ways to think about that, but go back and watch those videos on what, it, what properties of logs are and what the definition of a log is, but your answer is just x, right, or 5, x equals 5. So let's try this one down here. e to the, so how, how would I solve this problem? If, I, if I've got, if I've got, e, and I'm trying to solve for x, I've got e raised to the th 3x power. How do I get this 3x out of the exponent? I take the natural log of both sides. I, and when I do that, now I can bring the 3x down. And what happens to ln of e? Cancel that. goes away, it becomes 1, and that just equals the natural log of 10. And then x equals... And then x equals the natural log of 10 over, over 3, 3, which is just some number. You can either leave it like that if they want an exact form, or you could punch it in your calculator for a decimal approximation. Hey, what is ln of 10? Give me an estimate. Tell me what the natural log of 10 is, roughly. Tell me what two integers it's between. Mm. So what does the natural log of 10 mean? It means log base e of 10. And what does that mean? e to what power equals 10? Ten. Ten. And what Ten. is e? No. What's e? 2.7-ish. 2. 2. Yeah. 2.7 to what power equals 10? 2.7. Is it three? bigger than 2? No. Smaller than 2? Bigger than 3? Smaller than 3? Wait, 2 times 3. So what two integers is it between? 3 and 4? Nope. 3. Then that's... Nope. 3 is too big. What's 2 to the third power? 8. Uh huh. But what's two point five to the third power? It's going to be more than ten, right? Oh yeah. So what's three to the Close second to power? Nine. Nine. So this is going to be. Between. This nine. number right here mm -hmm. is going to be somewhere between two, two and three. three. And and so that's what this means. The natural log of ten is just a number. Mm -hmm. It's just a number. It's saying e to what power equals 10. That's what that's saying. So that's, the, uh, that's what a logarithm is. A logarithm is an exponent. That's what a logarithm is. You hear teachers say that all the time. A logarithm is an exponent. This right here is just 2 point something. It's whatever number you raise e to to get 10. That's what, a log that's what a logarithm is. And it allows you to solve, this is exactly what a logarithm does, it allows you to solve exponential equations.